Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the collective. Hi, collective. How y'all doing this morning? If you are uh, new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay, collective. I hope you're feeling blessed and highly favored. I hope that you are smiling, that your heart is full of joy, that you did not wake up on the wrong side of the bed. If you did, get back in the bed and then jump out the bed and say, thank you, God, I'm alive. Because you could have woke up on the other side of the grass. Hello. Look, I had just seen a video too, y'all. The other day, this guy, it was like a little, uh, you know, I don't really scroll too often, but it was a little uh, a YouTube short. And this dude said, I wasn't ready for this. The back of the girl's uh, hoodie said, congratulations, you made God's wake up list. Hello. That's why I be telling y'all. Listen, you better find the joy in in the morning. I know I find it every morning. I'd be so grateful to be alive. Like, whoo, child, I woke up. I could have not woke up. And I'm so grateful to God that I did. <laughs> I woke up. I know somebody who literally laid down and never woke up again. So it happens. It does happen. So be grateful. Be grateful. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go, collective. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of the collective of all 12 zodiac signs. What is it that you got for about the Holy Spirit? I thank you, Ashe. All right, Spirit, let's kick it off with five cards. What's going on with the collective this morning? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to know? Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh, 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 get ready. Somebody wants to come back. All right. Y'all got the queen of swords in the upright, the eight of cups in reverse, the ace of cups upright, the queen of wands upright, four of cups in reverse. Somebody wants to get up. They're going to take a, somebody wants to come back. They want to get up. They're tired of being closed off. <laughs> Somebody's like, I can't take it. Not another day, not another moment. Somebody's tired of being closed off. They're ready to get back out there. They're ready to come back. They're ready to look at something from a different point of view, impartially from that queen of swords view. And they're like, listen, I'm tired of this. I'm ready to take a chance. I'm ready to put my confidence into love. Somebody wants to come in and pour out love. They want to come back and pour down love. Eh? Let's talk about it. Okay. Clarify the queen of swords spirit. In the upright, what's this Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords in the upright is being clarified by the Six of Cups upright, the Emperor in the upright, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe somebody took back an offer and then after taking their offer back, they decided to look at something from an impartial view. It was like, hmm, I took back my offer. I'm not getting a brand new, uh, it could be talking about finances, but I'm thinking it's more so an offer. Somebody took back an offer and after taking it back, they started looking at stuff like, maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. That wasn't nice. So now somebody from your past, this is a past love. They want to come back and they want to bring stuff between the two of y'all back under control. And this is somebody who might've rejected you at some point with that ace of pentacles in reverse. Now they want to come back. Spirit, this person wants to come back with the Ace of Cups. Oh. With the Ace of Cups in uh, reverse. Eight of Cups, excuse me. Eight of Cups in reverse. Clarify that. Eight of Cups in reverse. This person wants to heal it. They're going to come in and give you a small offer. In my head, some say this is upright. Or was it reverse? Let me, let me ask. Is the King of Swords supposed to be upright or reverse? reverse okay i'll leave it reverse thank you spirit so this person wants to uh heal the situation they don't give a damn what it takes by any means necessary they don't care what they got to say or do they want to heal stuff with you they're not gonna listen they're gonna start off small with the page of cups this is like them throwing a little line out there to let you know hey collective i still like you boo Hey, I still like you, boo. What's up? Somebody got, they like you. Somebody's infatuated with you. 
Got a little crush on you. I still, I'm still crushing on you. You still looking good. What's up? They want to heal it. Now they want to do the Ace of Cups. Mm. All right, Kalita, what y'all got going on? I love love. It feels so good. What's the Ace of Cups? Oh, somebody trying to, somebody is, woo, somebody trying to manifest the hell out of you, baby. Heck yeah. Okay, listen. The person that's trying to manifest you, at one point in time, they did not see themselves growing with you, right? Three of Pentacles in reverse. They didn't see it. But now they want to rain down that love on you. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Somebody want to pour out buckets and buckets and buckets of love. This person is trying to manifest you because they, they listen, they don't want to stress out about you no more. I love the collective. And I don't want to stress out no more. So I'm going to manifest the collective by any, I don't care what it takes. What I got to say, what I got to do, whatever it takes, I'm going to get the collective. All right, y'all. Didn't we have somebody rushing in yesterday? Now today, we got somebody, but they don't give a damn what they got to say or do. They going to fix it. They going to fix it. They want you back. They want you back. Now, with the Queen of Cups, the sword, I mean, Queen of Wands, Upright Spirit, is clarifying the queen of wands in the upright you out here looking good by the way let me just tell you collective if you are sitting in the queen of wands position you are sitting pretty you're confident you lack you bubbly it's something about your personality child you're confident you look good you just look good and this person sitting back watching they are and they want to come back and they want to apologize for any manipulation that they put you through they want to put it, hey, I want to apologize for leaving the connection, being manipulative, sneaking around like I was doing something. I apologize. If they had third parties, I'm sorry. Somebody wants to come in and they want to put your ass up on a pedestal, child. And when I say put you up on a pedestal, that just means somebody wants to give you a lot of attention. Don't take it like funny. I'm never going to put a man on a pedestal, child. That ain't what I'm saying. Somebody just wants to give you attention. They want to put you above everybody else. That's it. So if like they want to they want to give you attention. They want to pour out a lot of attention on you. And you look good. And that's why they want to do it. Clarify the four cups in reverse. Four cups in reverse. Somebody getting ready to come towards you like a bat out of hell. Knight of Swords is in the upright. So somebody has finally had enough. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I want my baby back. I want my baby back. Oh my God, I'm rushing. Somebody told you I want my baby back. Somebody is rushing towards you. They want a brand new start. They want to take out the swords in your back. Whatever ending y'all had, they want to reverse it. They don't want the cycle to be over. Nah, I want you back. Whatever I got to do to make it right, I want you back. They want a commitment. Somebody wants a serious commitment. Marriage or just a serious relationship. I told you, somebody wants you back. And they tired of sitting back watching not doing nothing about it. That's why the four of cups is in reverse. Normally, this is somebody closed off. But when you in the four of cups reverse, it's like enough of this being closed off. I'm going to get what's mine. Somebody coming to get you. I hope you ready. Because somebody's coming to get your ass. You ready? Because they're coming. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. They want their baby back. Okay, y'all had an ending, and now y'all had an ending, right? And this person now knows that the way that they left stuff, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Now they want to quickly come in, and they want to restore your faith. They know that it wasn't, they didn't give you much to work with the first time, but now they want to talk. Somebody wants to talk about all their secrets and all the things that they were overindulging in. So in order to get you back, they feel like they got to come in with a level of truth. And, and do it quickly. They can't hold back. So somebody quickly wants to come in and reveal to you what they was hiding. With the high priestess in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse. They're going to tell you about everything they was mani being manipulative about. So like I said, if they was doing third parties, they coming to tell you. Uh, collective, I did do stuff to you and I'm sorry. But I want you. I don't know what happened. 
But no, typically, you know what happens. Sometimes people think that they can find better than you. And then when they realize that they can't, they go out here and they experience a lot of bad. Then that's when they tend to be like, damn, I had the best thing going. And now they're going to come back and tell you you was the best thing going. And they regret ever breaking up with you. Now they want to come back and restore your faith after the breakup. After not giving you anything to work with. Now they want to come in and talk. Anything else you got for them? Oh, look at here, look at here now. Somebody really wants to, woo, child. Child, child, child. What? This collective. Collective. Let me tell you something. Somebody must have got their head thumped when they was out here in these streets. I mean, and it must have got thumped really, really good because all they, this person does is sit up and think about how good you look independent. You're out here looking independent. Even if you a man, you looking sexy, daddy. You got it. You're looking good. And if you're a woman, girl, you look good. Go on, go on, girl. Go on with your bad self. You are looking like you are mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually on your grind. And somebody just sits up and thinks about Damn, they look good. They look like they got all that shit together. You are shining like a... Fuck, stop! Somebody is sitting back watching you. You look good. All eyes are on you. This person is not oblivious to what you got going on. You look really, really good. I don't know what you're doing, what your pursuits are, but whatever it is... They are not experiencing that in their everyday world. And they are sitting back looking at you. And all they keep thinking is like, dang, they look good. I, I want them back, man. I told you, sometimes people go out here experience other things thinking they're going to find better. Then they realize, damn, I had I had a diamond all along. So now this person sees you as their ten of cups. You're their ultimate wish fulfillment. You want to, you they help you their happiness. Somebody sees you as their happiness. Somebody wants to come in and give to the situation. Now somebody wants equal give and take. Now somebody wants to give to you. Was you expecting this from somebody from your past that looked like, I mean, look, six of cups. They want to come in and be nice. Pour out love, nothing but loving kindness. Nothing but loving kindness. I mean, somebody going to lay it on thick. Do you see all the love? You see all the cups? That's a lot of cups, baby. Somebody coming with a whole lot of emotion. They're going to be pouring out so much love. It's going to be damn near like somebody is lovesick. You will be like, damn, excuse me. Like that. <laughs> Let me get the door for you. Let me hold your hand. Um, Here, I got you these flowers. Baby, do you need anything? Do you want me to do anything? You want me to rub your feet? I mean, it's going to be on. Like somebody is really cutting it on thick. But it's because they feel like you deserve all of that. You are the star. Now, seven of wands. This person feels like if they wasn't protective of y'all's relationship or you, get ready. This person will get ready to fight for you. They see you out here as the star and they feel like they got to fight other, other people off. I think this came out yesterday. They was willing to fight other people. Somebody is wanting to fight other people for you. They're ready to fight for you. Page of Swords up oh, right. Spirit, tell me more about this. Are they going to fight other people? Yeah. They want to birth something new, honey. They ready to fight for you. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. This person wants to be out of a mental prison. Clarify the Seven of Wands. I said Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands. Spirit, you know what I was talking about. Yeah, they want to come out of their mental prison. They got to reverse the tower. They feel like they losing without you. They're in a ten of Listen. When they lost you, they lost a lot. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that's how they feel. And they ready to come out of this mental prison. I'm telling you, they're mad that they lied to you and didn't never get this off the ground. Now, they feel like it's worth fighting for. They're mad at themselves for not valuing you. But now they're ready to get something off the ground. This person wants to come towards you impulsively to, to, to relieve any burdens that you have. If they left you out here with nothing and everything dried up, now they're like, no, no, no. If I left you out here in the Empress in reverse, 
Let me come over here and relieve your burdens and quickly do it impulsively. Somebody wants to come back really, really quick. I'm talking about quick. Did we have, did we start off with the, did y'all have the, am I thinking about Sagittarius? Because I don't know. I can't remember. Y'all, did we get the Knight of Swords out here? But either way, even the Knight of Wands is moving fast. So somebody impulsively wants to come towards you and relieve burdens after letting the whole relationship dry up. Chariot is in reverse. Somebody's coming back. They're ready to get things out of the cold um, after y'all have experienced this ending. This person, at one point, they were selfish. And they might have chosen something else. But now they don't want to be juggling with you. Now they're just waiting on the right opportunity. This is what this person, they have been enlightened that you are it. They have just been waiting on divine time and on when to come towards you. But now they're tired of waiting. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. That The plan is to come towards you. They're tired of waiting. They was waiting on divine time and to see. But they have been enlightened. You are it. And the plan is you can already see them. They're going to come towards you. And they're going to apologize for not seeing you as somebody that they could celebrate with, build with. They like They really didn't see you as the person that was going to be... You know how like when you find your person, that's the person who's supposed to, you're supposed to laugh with, break bread with, do everything with. They didn't really see you that way at first, but now they do. Now they want to come out of chaos and conflict. They don't want you in competition with other people. They want a divine partnership with the lovers. Somebody wants to work with you. After the first time telling you they didn't want to work with you, causing you to walk away or they walked away from you and y'all had communication slow down so the first time it was like i don't want to see it now it's like yeah i do see it probably because there's good luck with you collective you might just be a carrier of good luck or like the will is just turning in your favor right now and because it's turning in your favor this person now after showing you no love and being selfish now they want to come back and do the exact opposite so look this is them I don't want to show collective any love. I don't want to give to the situation. I want to be selfish. Now they want to do the opposite. Now I want to come in with love and pour it out. So the first time they didn't want to, now they do. Now they do. They see you out here. I mean, you you look so strong and independent. Somebody is sitting back watching you. You look strong and independent. You don't even look like no regular independent. I told you, y'all was out here. Y'all was out here, I'm talking about looking, looking good. Y'all are the star in the nine of cups. And this is all somebody thinks about is how good you look independent. Like, damn, it's like you break up with somebody and they leveled all the way up. And it's like, how did I, how did I miss this? I had the diamond. Somebody's coming back. They did not know you were the star of their whole situation. You are the diamond. They, and you look so strong and independent. So I'm telling you, somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to come back because you look good. You look good with what you're doing. You do. You do. So now after lying and creating a lot of imbalance between the two of y'all, now somebody and, and acting like they didn't want this and they was toxic and they like they didn't want to release their emotion now because this is how they was treating you before they were toxic they acted like they didn't want to resurrect i'm leaving and you was probably like go ahead and go to you shit i don't care this person wasn't they did they were emotionally unavailable they kept a lot of stuff held back they really wasn't releasing nothing stuff was out of balance now though this person wants to come in and tell you i don't want it to be over I want to let down my guard. Now they want to be vulnerable and tell you they see you as their only, their one and only. You about to see after going through a lot of instability with this person and with temperance in reverse, somebody is fixated on you. Somebody is fixated on you. And they want to come in and they want to make an offer. That's what you about to see. Somebody got their eye on you, honey. You look good, and they want you. I don't know what y'all gonna do. This week has just been very interesting. Yesterday they were saying I want you. This today they saying I want you. They don't want nobody else but you, honey. Well, get ready for somebody in the collective. They person is sitting back looking like I've had enough of this. I've been quiet one day too long. I'm coming back before I lose my opportunity. 
And yesterday, the person was rushing in because they thought so, it, you was about to be, uh, you going to have a lot of options. But this person said, mate, like, I can't take it no more. You just look too good out here to be alone. So they want to come back and they want to try to make it right. They're going to shoot their shot. Now, whether or not you take it is a different question. Are you going to accept this? When they shoot their shot, you going to take it collective or are you going to tell them to go head on? That's the question. Have they changed? That's the other question. See, I'm good at thinking of questions to ask yourself. Once you do the dark night of the soul, because, you know, that requires a lot of you asking yourself questions. I ask myself a thousand questions. Have this person changed? What, why are, what are their real intentions? What, if, what am I doing that got their attention like this? What do they really want? Once you start asking yourself, this is why going through the dark night of soul is so important because it puts you to where you're asking yourself tough questions. So even though when this person comes back, you can ask yourself tough questions so you can see where your intuition is going to lead you and what you need to do. Do you need to believe this person? Do they deserve a second chance with you? Or do you need to keep it pushing? It's up to you, collective. You the one out here looking strong and independent like you got it going on. Do you want to remain like that or do you want to give love a shot and now your whole whatever is shot to shit? It could be. Depending on what placement you are, some of these people are coming back to lie, to disrupt all your shit. And then for some of y'all, this person is sincere. That's why you need a personal reading. Not saying I got to do it, but anybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I don't know. Somebody wants y'all bad, though. They want you bad. What you going to do? Because you doing it. They watching you. All they do is sit up and think about you. I don't have time to think about other people like that, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. I, they, they got time. And they are tired of watching you looking good. Well, I mean, you done leveled up. And they, they, want, they want you bad. They want you bad. All right, Collective, that's it. That's all I have for you on I Am The Light. Thank you so much for joining me for the Collective reading this morning. If you need a reading, hit me up at I Am Light Tarot at gmail.com. Y'all, please hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want to. Um, by hitting the like button, the message gets out to others, and it is deeply appreciated by me and by spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you'll know when I upload, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let me tell y'all real quick who's up next. Um, and my little three day break, y'all, I ain't getting nothing done. I literally get off work and I've been trying, trying to rest. My son, well, yesterday they let me rest. I go to, I've been going to bed early. Y'all, I've been, I've been sleepy because I'm a hard worker, honey. I will work. Okay. Um, the next reading up should be. Is it Leo or Aries? Leo. Leo, babies. My lions. Y'all up. Leo, babies. Y'all next. So I, tomorrow morning, I got Leo. Or I might do it tonight. Depends on how I feel. Probably tomorrow morning. I'm not even going to sit here live. Lately, I have just been chilling when I get off. I was supposed to be cleaning up. But I've just been tired. They've been wearing me out at my 9 to 5, child. You know, we've been ready to hit Christmas. All right, y'all. Until then, I'll see y'all tomorrow, Leos. If not tomorrow morning, it'll be this evening, but probably tomorrow. See y'all later. Bye, baby.